Hi, this is Toxic, and welcome to my tutorial. Today we're going to turn our Android phone into a webcam. So, the first step is turning on debugging mode and installing the application on your phone. So, to turn on debugging mode, we're going to go into settings, <laughs> and then we're going to hit applications, development, and then we're going to check USB debugging right up at the top. Next step is to go back to the home or wherever you have your marketplace icon set up. Go into the marketplace and mine's loading, loading, loading. But as this is loading, we're going to search for USB webcam, which mine should pop up soon. Yep, right here. And right up at the top, you see Placaware USB, which I already have installed. And you're just going to install it. It should take a few seconds. And then you're ready for the next step. Okay, so what we're going to do is go back to the desktop. And when you have your uh, USB device plugged in, we're going to go back into our device manager, which I already have popped up here on my um, computer. You have to make sure that the computer recognizes the device as a composite ADB interface. If this isn't um, showing up, try reinstalling any of the um, Android SDK drivers, and you should be all set with that issue. Otherwise, it will not work. So, um, the next part is you're going to go to the browser and on placaware.com you're going to download the latest version of USB webcam PC host which it works for it's 32-bit but it works on 64-bit systems um, Windows XP Vista and 7 I don't believe they've made one for Mac yet but they also have a version available for Linux on their site. If you have any problems um, also setting up ADB, I found another website, um, theunlocker.com. They had a posting and video of it, which I will leave both of these links below in the description box. But once you have everything set up in Device Manager and you have uh, the program from placaware.com, we're going to actually run the USB webcam program and when it runs it, it actually checks through to see if all the devices are connected. So if you see a USB webcam uh, error message, that means you did something wrong. So retry the first two steps over again and until you get the correct result. I had to play around with it a bit before it actually worked for me. Otherwise, it should say all systems go, or um, what you see on my screen right now, success fully. And you press any key, that's kind of just like a checking device, I would say. Um, and then when we go to Skype, or AIM, or Yahoo, whichever one that you're using, it seems to be working with just about every chat um, site out there. but. Otherwise, we're going to go into the audio settings, or settings, and then go to video, because that's what we're playing with. And once you have the application set up on your phone, and right now it's loading, mind you, it is kind of slow, but once we select it again, and I have uh, the application actually turned on on my phone, it's working. Um, it is a very slow webcam, however, if you don't have one, this actually works out pretty well for anyone who doesn't have one. Hi. Hi, world. <laughs> so, but that's, that, that concludes my tutorial for today. Thank you.